students good morning to all of you now we are going to start english one total english now see here class 9a total english chapter 3 page 64 last time we have done comprehension now we have question number 5 here we have grammar now it is passages See, he invented. You have to, you have to fill in the blank. Page number also I have mentioned sixty-four. You have to fill in the blank. He invented. Okay, one sentence. Okay, here see, one sentence. First one, zero. <coughs> Answer is given. So I did not write here. The first electric light was made by an English scientist named Humphrey <coughs> Davy. Davy in eighteen uh, hundred. now see he invented first one is invented an electric battery by connecting connecting is a second okay here yeah. blank second answer wires to a battery and a piece of carbon this made the carbon glow which produced <coughs> here produced answer is produced light around 1860 the british physicist sir thomas peter wilson swan wanted to create wanted to create next answer a long lasting electric light he found that a carbon paper filament did the job but it burnt quickly thomas alva edison experimented with thousands of different filaments in 1880 he discovered the right filament which helped him to invent the light bulb All of you will have to get the answer to the question, and when the school reopens, you will have to submit your notebooks. Now we are going to question number B. now let's see 5b why b1 here the instruction we are given or rather you are given fill in each blank with an appropriate words now see first one i refrain dash giving my opinion so we have to fill in refrain from first one from giving different from giving my opinion from from is the answer now say number 2 recently there has been
recently there has been a small reduction. Reduction in. In his answer, the price of petrol. Number four, we shall take dash your queries at the next meeting. We shall take we shall take we shall take up. Your queries. At the next meeting. Take up is the correct answer. All right, now we will go to question number five. Difficulties. Two difficulties. Through is the answer. Now number six. People must look.
look up. to their teachers to their teachers as their guides Up is the answer. Okay, number seven. Question number seven. We were amazed that what the principal said. We were amazed. I must act. What the? I must act. Now, last one in this group B, eight. I came, came across. Came across some foreigners. Answer is a cross. Now we have finished eight. Okay, now we are going to question number C, group C. Five C group five. Question number five. Group C. Okay, one. Now you see here. Join the following sentences to make one complete sentence without using and, but, or so. First question is. I will repeat the instruction. Join the following sentences to make one complete sentence without using. And, but, or so. First one is given. Question is, who has snatched the lady's purse? The police will soon find out. These two sentences we have to combine. We have to combine, and then you don't have to use and, but, or so without using these three words. And, but, or so. Now see here.
tulis. Okay. Now we are going to two. There is something in a store for him. He does not know it. Now we have to combine it without using and what or so. He does not know. There is something in a store for him. For him. Now number three. I forward my passport. That was careless of me. That is a question. Now we have to combine. Okay, now last one, four. Question is, she can go there. She has to tell her mother about it. She has to go there. She has to go there to tell her mother to tell her mother about it. Okay, we finished up A B C. We finished A B C. Now next time, tomorrow we shall see or after one or two days. Next question.